Good afternoon, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to FS Daily News. The weekend is finally upon us. That means the last day for FS Daily News for the week. I have a lot of streams planned this weekend and the new mods and maps coming soon video that's releasing this weekend too. Today in news though, we got a new map release that I have been waiting for. No Creek Farms. Yes, that is a PC only map though. Plus, Carpathian Countryside will be getting a big update on consoles. And testing list is here, and there is 49 mods on that list. Remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Now, roll that intro. Let's get the news for today. So make sure that you don't miss out. Just be there. We're taking our shot. What you got? We're going all the way to the top. Welcome back. Okay, so here we go with that first piece of news for today. We don't got much news to go over, but we do have some news to go over. The first one we have is from 82 Square Studio. He says, I would love to be able to tell you that all that you were going to be towing this weekend. Unfortunately, he does not see that happening. The two towing mods require some more in-depth testing, especially on consoles, and you would not expect to see them released before Monday, Tuesday, next week. Not ideal, but it is progressing at the least. So you guys can see from right here, TLX Phoenix series is still pending. TLX 1982 and the TLX 2022 series is still in testing. Uh, TLX service pack is in console testing and the TLX detachable towing unit is in console testing too. Sucks, but hopefully it'll be coming out before the end of this month. Next, we have some news from TNT Modding. Looks like Eureka and Lazy Acres will be getting a big update. He said, on Eureka and Lazy Acres, the tree counts will be reduced and moved farther from the edge of the fields. Also, he's adding some new crops. Rye, millet, lavender, carrot, and onion to all maps. With the addition of lavender, you will also be able to make lavender oil to the oil processing plant for productions. Of course, all other fixes that have been found will be done as well, such as the ability to sell silage bunkers. Update will require a restart to update the trees and new crops, so it will require a new save. He will be submitting it in the next week or two. Next, we'll also be getting a big update to the Carpathian Countryside. The cross-play map version will be getting a big update. One of the very fresh additions to the map are also placeable variants of his cow barns with the feeding robot. Robots take care of the feeding, you just have to keep him supplied. This, this will be available in the upcoming update of the Crossplay map version, as well as the PC-only map version once it is released. And yes, they will also come as a standalone mod for any map later on in the coming months. Map is the first priority for him right now. It looks really good. Okay, now let's get to that last piece of news for today, and I want to stress this. This is a PC-only map, guys. This is available as a third party PC only. Usually I don't talk about, you know, like maps that do not come to the mod up, except if they're, you know, like from DJ modding or something like this, a map that I really want to show off. And this is No Creek Farms. This is, of course, a map that was an FS-17. It was an FS-19. Well, now it is an FS-22. It's actually made by Large H, JMF, and Squatch Monkey. I'm very interested in showing this off. But anyways, the description says, Welcome to one of my favorite maps for Farming Simulator series. No Creek was the first made back in FS17 and has been converted through two games now. This map is a standard size map with one singular farm and one cell point. You can easily get lost in the fields of this since it only has one road on it. Uh, so yeah, this looks really, really good. This of course takes place like actually right around me. I believe Ch Chillicothe, Missouri. But anyway, some of the new stuff added for FS22, it has custom deco foliage, working cow pen and a new cow pasture. JMF also added the moving cows at the dealer, multi-train angle, silage corn, alfalfa, buy point for wet cake and lime, custom environment, corn stalks and the ability to bedding with corn stalks, grass fields, color of water in ponds and creek, lower the poly of the bend at the co-op, ability to paint medium and short grass in game. Uh, he also fixed, fixed a lot of stuff. He fixed the animated objects, building textures, silage bunker, dealer location, cell point location, animal pen relocation, paintable grass, farmlands, map file size, file pass, original field layout for field eight, converted conversion from using map FR data to map US, adjusted AI farmed fruit ties for closer accuracy to real life location. So would you guys be interested in me showing this off this weekend in a live stream? Let me know in the comments section below. Okay, with that being done, let's get to that last piece of news, which is, of course, the testing list, the last testing list for this week, which this testing list was kind of a weird one because actually this thing was posted 
Thursday last night, which usually doesn't happen, but it was also posted by Kerminator. Anyways, there is 49 mods on this testing list. And remember guys, if they say PC does not mean that they're PC only just means they're in the first stage. First stage is PC, second is console, third is release. So let's go over some notable ones. The big one right there, the first one is Valley Spring, which I believe this is the console version. So be patient, hopefully get past and we can see it on consoles. Okay, next we have Cow uh, Barn Old, we have Excavator Tool Pack, Hills of Tuscany, uh, International S 1800 series. Uh, let's see, large ground stains, manure pellet production, uh, Monet Farms map update. Let's see, Planet Modular BGA, somewhere in Thunguria 3, I think that's how you say that. The Newton's House, uh, TLX Detachable Towing Unit, and the TLX Service Pack, which we were just talking about. Universal Crusher, Yeast Production, and that is about it on the PC side. Now, on console side, we have Shopping Cart and the Fiat 120C. Now, Mods Ruby Test is 168, and current wait time is only 13 working days. Well, right there was all the news and testing list for today. Tonight's live stream is at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. What sounds better to you guys? No Creek or Edgewater? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, remember, all the links to the news and testing list are linked in the description. Also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have a release date unless it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Farming Simulator and make sure that notification bell is on so you miss any of the videos here on the channel. Well, have a great day. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth.